YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here with another thrift haul for you. Went to Savers on Monday, and our area is always 50% off. I know a lot of you don't have a Savers, and even those of you who do, they don't do this uh, in your area. So I think it's just a matter of having so much inventory that they need to kind of turn it over. So let's just dive right in and show you what I got. I will show you Inky. He's sleeping. He was watching the birds, and I guess that tuckered him out. So first thing I got was this sign. It says, Raised on Sweet Tea and Sunshine. It was $2, originally $3.99. It's on burlap. Uh, it doesn't have a way to hang it up, so I'm probably going to put a piece, a little piece of rope or some raffia. You know, I'm always telling you how I'm going to zhuzh something up before it goes out. This will go into my space probably in the summer. And I would say, after I add a little bit to it, I would probably put 10 bucks on it. So not too bad. I did get a little bit of fabric today. A lot of the fabric was knit or older stuff I do not purchase, I do not sell. Uh, this one uh, is like a cotton blend. There's probably a good two yards on here. I was very surprised at the price. 99 cents. I never see anything put at 99 cents. So this piece cost me 50 cents. I'm not sure about this, but I got it anyway. It's a uh, made to look like a uh, scrubbing board, all-purpose evergreen soap and fine cleaning products, and it has this adorable little picture. And you can change the picture if you like. Ohio Wholesale, and I paid $2.50 for that. These, I picked them up because I know boho is a big deal. But I don't see too much of it in my antique mall, so I think this might end up going uh, on eBay. There are six of them, and they are this absolutely adorable, uh, I don't know, this is like a rattan or the caning in the center. Very adorable. I only paid $2.50 for all of them, so I'll do a little bit of research, but I think most likely those will be going uh, on the bay. I've been selling a lot of mugs here recently. This one was 75 cents, and it says Life of the Party, and it's this adorable little pug with a pink inside. So that, I don't know, my, my mugs go from 6 to $7, depending. That one probably is a 6 5 or $6 one. I did get this bag of fabric. They've been kind of uh, backing up smaller pieces. Um, this, as you can tell... There looks like there's a whole bunch of fat quarters because you can see the paper on them, which is like here. So those sell all day long for me for a buck. So that's $2. It's funny. They wrote on here, uh, quilting fabric 12 inch or less. I found bigger pieces than that. I mean, just look at this green one. So either way, I know I'm going to make some money on that. And for $2, it was a good purchase found this metal uh, roof and burlap decorated birdhouse. It was $2.50. Doesn't say where it's from, but I thought it was very cute. So that will go in my booth. I'd say eight bucks. Love this big owl lantern. Um, I do have some bigger candles and even some just plain glass to put down in there. Uh, and then that will be in my booth. He is really big, and this is metal. But isn't he beautiful? And he was only, ooh, he was $5. So I don't know, once I put, you know, a candle in there and that, I'll probably put him up for 16 I would guess. Got these clip-on um, shades for like a candlestick. Uh, they were sold individually, so they were a dollar a piece. A little uh, pep leopard, I almost said pepper. Lemon pepper. Leopard! I'll get there. Um, and they're new. They're still wrapped. So I'll hang on to those. I'm always finding the little candlestick ones. And then this will be nice to have a matching set. I don't buy cookie jars that much. They don't really sell for me. And I don't know. Unless they're, you know, collectible or something. But even then, I don't know. I don't mess with them. So I got this adorable one. It's a little elephant. And he was only three fifty. I think he's home home sense or one of those. So he's not old, but he's cute. So that'll probably go into my booth. I would say for probably fourteen, sixteen dollars. Let me look. How much was he? There was a lady standing there looking at him. 
Oh, there's the seal to it. Yeah, there was a lady looking at him. Home Essentials. And then she was like, oh, I don't know. Who eats cookies anymore? And I said, so she, I said, it is cute. And she's like, yeah, I'm not going to get it. I said, are you sure? And she goes, yeah. And then she kind of looked at me and said, because I'm going to get it if you don't. She's like, oh, no, no, no. Go ahead and take it. So he is cute. He or she. I did find something that you wouldn't think I would normally buy. And uh, it's this big wooden fish. <laughs> He's got a couple chip scrapes on him. He was only three fifty. I am going to spray paint him white. We're getting some decent weather on the weekend, so I might just go out and give him a quick paint, and then maybe just kind of go along the edges to get some of that to show through the darker color. I think he would be quite adorable. Got this sign for two dollars. The tag came off and stuck on me. I finally found it. Went to the sign. It says thankful, so I'm probably going to wait until fall to put that out. Um, they had another one that was said grateful, but it was, I don't know, it wasn't done as well as this one, so I passed. Um, for my store, uh, my antique mall, I every year, it's a tradition now, that I make uh, candy kiss roses. And I, I think I did a video or talked about doing a video at one point. I think I did a video, so yeah, look at my how-to uh, playlist. But this is uh, what I use for it, is the Cello Wrap in red. So I got two of those, and I know there's slightly more on here than I would have got at the dollar store, and I would have paid about the same amount, but this is a decent size, so I will definitely be able to get... I make 50 of them, and they are handed out to the first 50 moms that come through the door. So that will be, I'll be getting that ready in, uh, when is Mother's Day? May, and then June is Father's Day. So yeah, I got plenty of time to work on those. I got this cat I saw, I thought was so cute. It was $1.50, look at the little smile on that face. But then I realized it's one of the uh, ones that you put um, the light in. It looks like it says Target originally. So yeah, I have a couple extra lights. He needs a little cleaning, as you can tell, but very adorable. Once I get a light in him, he should do well at the store for probably, I don't know, $10, $12. I did get uh, two bags, and then I'll explain the other stuff, but I did get two of the grab bags, and this one was $2.00. And it had these two wrestling guys. Aren't they adorable? And they have a bottle opener. So you have him, and then you have this guy doing the chokehold here. <laughs> so those will go into my guy uh, area. I'll probably put four bucks on each of those. And then these, I'll probably put three or four on those. I do have a spot that I can hang these because they are, uh, what do you call them? Magnet. So not too bad for $2.00. And then this one was two fifty, and it came with this. It is a socket. Yes, I know what that is. Um, probably just I don't know. Sell that on eBay, maybe. I got this cute little bird. You put a tea light in. I mainly got it for this. Whiskey is my animal spirit. I thought that was kind of cute. And the little funnel to fill it up. I don't know where this was originally from, but. Not intended for minors. Mm -hmm. um, also, I didn't realize this. I thought he was just a cute little figurine, but he's a salt or a pepper uh, shaker. Isn't he cute? So it does have a name on it. I don't know. My daughter looked at it. And I says, what does it say? My eyes are bad. She's, uh, I don't know. It's in cursive. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, I may just uh, include him in one of my grab bags. He's too adorable just to get rid of. So there's that, and then I have the uh, some recipe cards, new. So I don't know, maybe that's a good grab bag item as well. So not too bad on that. Not too bad for two fifty and two. I did get some brooches. I did. I had some brooches on uh, eBay. They've been sitting for a while, and I found, as you remember, it was looked like a little picture frame with a little stand on the back, but it was burlap, so you could stick things on it. I put all of my uh, brooches on that, and they've been selling at the store. So I got this little turtle guy for two. This one uh, was uh, $1.50. 
This one's wood, it was $1.50, and then this one was two. So yeah, those will go into my booth. Probably five and six dollars is the normal price I put on those. So those will go out with me. Now, is that everything? Because I'm gonna show you the last bit of craziness here. I don't know what it is. They've been getting a lot of stuff from some kind of gift shop. You know I've been hauling some napkins and some paper plates. I don't know if that's where these are from, but these are all Thai Beanie Babies, the little mini ones. The, what do they call them? Uh, teeny Ties. So uh, they had these bagged up. They are all new with tag. And here's all the tags. So I figured up, I spent, it would have been $28 full price, $14 on half price. So I paid $14 for all of those. And these, these are little mystery ones that you open them up. And they're just those little felt toys. And so I opened one up just because I kind of wanted to figure out what it is. But these appear as if they were opened and then somebody kind of felt around because they're in like a little plastic, a little plastic bag. So you have to open them and then open the bag that they're in. And I think somebody was maybe collecting them and kind of got them and felt around and said, no, that's not the one I need. So there's 10 of these, and then there are 36 of these. These are selling for close to $10 in regular stores. So I think I'm probably going to put $3.50 to $4 on them individually, and they're just going to go in my booth. I mean, a lot, I, I just, I don't know if they're they're worth a lot. And if I put them online, I'm going to have to undercut everybody and lots of people are selling them, you know, the whole drill. So I think what I'm going to do is just probably put three or four dollars on these each and just put them in a basket in my booth and they should do fine. Even if I sell them at three dollars a piece, that's still over a hundred dollars. And then these. So, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to do these. I may just sell those online. Not really sure. But that is it. That is all. What I found today, pretty decent amount. Pretty big haul, I would say. Maybe even huge. So thank you for tuning in. I decided to lay it out on my table because, yeah, this was a lot of stuff. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would have bought and what would you have left behind. There was still some more of these. <laughs> Maybe I should go back. Today's senior day. I'm not quite old enough for that, though. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Get out there, find some good stuff, and we will be garage sale and hopefully before you know it. So I will see you, and until next time, happy picking. Bye!